Okay, so then we have uh, Masterpiece Studio Pro. Um, and this does, you can both animate and rig in this one as well, I think, and export out to VR chat if that's the sort of thing you want to do. Um, so you could b build your avatar or sculpt it. And that's what it claims. I've, I've, I've yet to use the the rigging side of it. I'm just focusing on the sculpting because, as you can see, there's a number of, I think we've got five sculpting apps, VR apps, maybe even six, um, if we were to include uh, um, medium. Right, is it going to work for us? Am I going to pause the video? Oh, I'm sorry, it's on the deck. Which you can't see, so let's just show you that. Desktop. It's, uh, so you can choose between motion to rig and whatever, as you say, rig and animate. So it was just sticking with a sculpt. This one you have to have an account. So I've just got to sign in with Google, which is always a bit annoying. But I guess that's how you can share and all the rest of it. Um, so let's do that. Start. Is it going to start for us? Start. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I, I like the fact we have the palette on the hand, right? I, I think that's a good thing, uh, as opposed to a floating, arbitrary floating menu. I think this is the volume that we have to work in, and that all seems to be, again, the same. And we've got a smooth, smooth. Oh, yeah, that's a, a sort of... This is something that, as I say, I, it's becoming very apparent that the default settings. I mean, this is what what's good about using lots of different programs is you kind of you can see instantly where where a program is weak, as whereas if you just use the one program, you, you that's all your only frame of reference. But if you use a lot of different programs, you get a just sort of general gist that some programs are better at it for some things than others. Um, okay, so smooth shrink. That not quite sure what that one's doing. Pinch. Doesn't seem to really do anything. Oh, just not doing anything. Oh, we do we need to be on come on. Yeah, that's doing something, it's just not very much. Is there a strength? Strength. Got some weird fall off. Whoops. Oh, we're right at the... Oh, yes, we have this volume to work in. That's a bit weird. Undo. Where's undo? Undo. So we have to kind of be inside this volume. Okay, well, we probably can change the size of the volume. The one cool thing about this one is you can do textures. Um, which I don't know if you can do in the other ones. I don't think you can. But then there's something to be said for just focusing on one thing then doing too many things and then, you know, not being great at anything. Um, smooth noise. Let's try that. Oops. Yeah, sort of dimply noise sort of thing. Smooth. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm not. I'm looking for my trim adaptive um, smudge. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, move. Okay, that's also kind of interesting. Oh, that just that just straight lines. Oh, that's that could be useful for doing like a basic sort of a hand or a body or something or limbs. Um. Okay. Um, stamp. We got. Oh yes, this has got libraries of parts, which I thought was kind of interesting. So let's go with a hand. Uh, that's not. Yeah, that's the same better ones. But at least it goes straight into. It sort of. Can we, can we scale it? Can we scale a hand? Size. Can we have max size? Parts. Yeah, uh, 
it's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Stamp oh, it's again within this volume thing. Can we go new or options? PNG reference. It's going to be camera. Oh yeah, you can do video streaming. I think from this one. Great. Okay. Textures. Let's do the texture thing just so you can see it. Now this. Uh, it's a bit laggy. I'm slightly concerned if I go, oh, it's going to lock everything up. I can try, and I might have to pause the video. Because it has to basically, there's a retopology, which um, will then make everything, I guess, quads and stuff, and easy to auto UV, and then you can paint textures on it. Which is kind of cool that you can do that. I mean, it's kind of cool that you can do the rigging stuff um, as well. Um, I might have to pause the video because it's... Gonna take oh no, there we go. Right. Almost there. Everything's locked up. <laughs> okay. And I've got quite a beefy machine. And it's just a, a new machine recently, so so that's kinda cool. You can paint textures once it's obviously but you couldn't you'd once you if you went back into modelling it, I think it would break the UVs. Um let's, let's have a look at the materials we got. Let's try a brick. So that's kind of cool. Um, scene, what's that? Lights, okay. Oh yeah, bloom. <laughs> I'm gonna want to do some synth wave kind of thing. Um, colors, different primitives, blur. You, what's a blur do? Is that actually blurring the texture? Create the. Hmm. Yeah, so this obviously can do a bit more. You can do the rigging and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to focus on the fact that we've got sort of two polygonal modelers with SketchUp and Modo. Oh, sorry, SketchUp and Blender, and then and then we go into all these sculpting apps. And this is the the only one missing being. Um, medium because that no longer seems to work which is really annoying um and then we're going to go into the the drawing or the kind of ribbon apps like uh tilt brush um and i'm trying to think of other ones gravity sketch is a bit like that so gravity sketch you can kind of do patches or polygons and sketching in free space and then quill and let's hope quill still works because that's uh i mean uh, uh, facebook still owns it i think they thought that was and there's also another one uh anim vr which is both anim vr and quill you can you can actually do animation in um with with drawing and stuff in in 3d space which is kind of crazy um but i'm going to bunch those all together like i bunched all the sculpting programs together um just because they, you know it's a slightly different thing um yeah i think that's probably about it with this one um does it have a it did have a library didn't it meshes um stamps and then we've got Spaceship parts, so you can do the whole kit bash thing here. It's just the parts start off really massive, it's a bit weird because the volume is kind of. Maybe if I. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. <laughs> um, so I'm trying try to be brief with this stuff because it's sort of. There's so many of them. Um, I think, as I say, there's six in total for the sculpting alone. Um, and the sort of point I'm trying to make is that there's a load of productivity albeit kind of experimental um apps and, I, and there's also music apps as well <laughs> um but i'm going to stop here um i might do the video, the drawing stuff as a sort of separate batch um so let's see if i, can, I need to get out of and exit the game press top and stop the stream OBS, where are you? There we go.